I give you the floor on Andrew Luck's retirement. You thought what when you heard it? Um, well, I mean, you know, obviously the original thought was everybody was, you know, surprised by the whole thing. I think, you know, us football fans, fan of the position, right. uh, fan of guys that carry themselves the right way and carry the torch of the NFL, uh, disappointed you know, from that standpoint because he's just – he does everything right, and I enjoy watching him play the game. So that was the one side of it. The other side of it um, – fully understand what he's talking about. You know, going through the, my career the way that I did, whether it was the years that I was sitting around hoping I could get back on a football field and play, the times that I got benched and, I, and I'm running scout team, uh, or times when I went through injuries where um, it starts to suck away the love that you have for the game because what you love is competing. What you love is Sunday afternoons. And when that's taken away from you, and it becomes about everything else, um, you do. You start to wrestle with the idea that I started playing this game because I love the game. Now all these other things are taking more of my time and attention, and I can't even get to do the thing that I love to do. And so fully understand that part of it. Um, you know, and you have to believe that you know, a lot of people are going to say, why did it happen now? You know, Why did it happen two weeks before the season? I feel like a part of it had to be – I don't want to go into another season where every single week everybody's wondering, is this the week that Andrew Luck plays? And, and the team has to answer the questions. And Jacoby's got to wonder, am I going to be the starter this week? And, and you know, because it's just going on for so long, I, I almost feel like he was like, I need to step away for the benefit of the team as well as my benefit so I can get away and get back to just kind of loving life again because he's been through – this struggle for so long. That's part of the thing that makes it so sad. And I know, again, whenever I say, man, I feel for him, and it's so saddening to me, I get it. He's making, he made millions. He's getting to keep millions. I understand one yeah, of members not, of, of, our, of our profession said yeah. it's like the most millennial thing that he couldn't handle rehabbing and all that sort of stuff. To me, the fact, just knowing of him and knowing having met him, that he sat there, Kurt, Warner and thought the only way out of this was yeah. to stop playing football. Right. Had to have been patently no, miserable, no, depressing sadness. No doubt. I mean, I, I even put on another. I remember when I was benched and I was running the scout team and they were holding cards up and saying, okay, throw to the guy that circled. And yeah, I was making <laughs> I was making a lot of money and it was a great living. But I was miserable every day that I went to work going, this is not why I play this game. You know, not to, to make the money or the fame or to, to last as long as I, I play because I love competing and I love going out there in the X's and O's and the cat and mouse part of it. But I was talking to him. I was like, I just want to retire. I, I don't want to be a backup and run scout team. That was and here in New York? That was, uh, that was actually in Arizona. In Arizona. And, you know, that's a whole different level because it's not even the rehab mm. and the pain and the struggle of just being able to to feel good when you show up to work every day. And, you know, I know a lot of people out there are like, well, you make a lot of money and all that. And I understand that. But a lot of guys don't play for that part of it. That is a huge and a huge blessing and benefit to this game is you, know, you can set yourself up for the long haul. But some guys aren't wired just to go, oh, okay, so I don't get to do what I love to do. That's okay because I'm making a lot of money. And that's what I think a lot of people at home don't understand is that there's people out there just – play this game because they love it. And if they can't do what they love, they would rather step away and find something else that they love to do rather than just come to work because they can or because they make a lot of money. And I truly believe, I and mean, when you heard Andrew Luck talk, that was basically what he was saying is right. that my love for the game, uh, this other stuff has become stronger in my mind than my love for the game. And it's why I retired. I think it's why most guys retire is because – you don't want to put in the time in the offseason anymore. The, the preparation part of it, the expectation that comes into, okay, you just played a game, but now we expect you to throw for 300 yards and three touchdowns next week and carry the team. Those things start to outweigh your love for the game. And that, to me, was when it was time for me to step away when the physical and mental toll uh, outweighed just enjoying showing up on Sunday afternoons. And – um, and I think we all come to that point at some time, some earlier than others. And, and I just believe Andrew Luck, with all he's been through, he came to that much earlier than we all wanted. I'm sure more earlier than he wanted. Um, but I understand that feeling and, and, you know, proud that he was 
willing to, because most guys are going to just hang around going, man, I'm making a lot of money. I'm just going to try to hang around and I'm going to be miserable in the process that, uh, you know, that he was able to, to step up and go, I'm going to walk away from all of this because I'm not enjoying what I do on a daily basis. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.